Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Uh, tonight I've got an ale for you um, that I picked up in my local um, garden centre. I, uh, I frequent garden centres quite often because I'm actually a gardener and I'm not doing this. Um, and I went in there and it, as most garden centres this time of year, it's the 10th of December. Um, so yeah, most garden centres this time of year are all decked out in all their Christmas decorations, selling Christmas hampers and what have you. And in my local one I found some beers. And uh, this one is a beer from a brewery called East Staffordshire Brewery. And it is a bottle of their Chiddleton Christmas Ale. Um, coming in at 4.6% ABV. Um, I don't know whether this... I mean, I seem to have seen this particular beer in one or two garden centres. Um, I don't know if it's something that goes around the country... You might recognise this label, you might not. Uh, but I found this in my local garden centre and I've, I've seen it in definitely another one in the area. Um, so you might find it in one of yours, I'm not too sure. But worth having a look. So yeah, Staffordshire Brewery, their Chiddleton Christmas Ale. It is a full-bodied ruby ale using crystal malt to give a deep ruby tint with a sweet malty aroma. And uh, it's batch number one. Approved by Adrian Cork, who is supposedly the managing director of Staffordshire Brewery. Um, yeah, quality handcrafted ale, brewed the traditional way. Best before is of summer next year. Um, it says the Chiddleton Christmas Ale has been triple filtered for a clean, crisp finish. Contains barley and wheat. And as I said before, it's 4.6% ABV. It's in a nice 500ml bottle. Um, I say it's barely two weeks now till the big day. So I thought I'd start getting some Christmassy ones in. So let's get this bottle out. It's a plain gold cap on this one. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what this one is going to be like. Little bit of smoke on the opening for that one. And that's pouring very dark already. There it goes. A whole lot in there, lovely. I'll leave that there so you can see the label. Um, yeah, there is this Chiddleton Christmas Ale. From here I'm getting the aroma. It smells quite sweet. Um, very dark brown in colour. Well, dark red. There's lots of red coming through the bottom of the glass. You might be able to see, see that at the bottom there. Red bleeding through the bottom of the glass there. Dark ale. Its, uh, it's head has disappeared on it quite quickly. Um, yeah, let's get an aroma on it. See, it's uh, very sweet, malty. Kind of fruitcake aroma. I'm almost getting a bit of a, a port, a port type smell to it. That kind of makes sense, seeing as port is traditionally drunk at Christmas. Or at least it always seems to come out Christmas day at my place anyway. After dinner, you cheese and biscuits and then port seems to make an appearance at some point during the course of the evening. Um, so yeah, maybe they've gone for that with this, but I'm definitely getting a a fruit cakey, malty aroma. There's definitely a bit of port. I can if you smelled a port in there. It smells quite tasty. I'm gonna get a taste. Cheers guys. Mm. A sweet, quite a sweet one. Ah. Yeah, really malty. As um, initially getting that fruit cake, currants, dark fruit. And there's definitely a sweetness to it. Some burnt malt, burnt, uh, I forget what I'm saying, it's almost like a burnt toffee 
type flavour to it. There's a lot going on with this. It's very rich. It's got a rich flavour to it. Let's have another go. You're getting those crystal malts. That's kind of roasted, roasted malt, roasted caramel, toffee type maltiness to it. And then there's this lingering kind of boozy sweetness at the back end. And it reminds me of port. That's what it reminds me of. It's a very kind of sweet, alcoholic taste at the back end of it. It's only 4.6 this one. So it's not, um, it's not a crazy one. But it's very com complex, the flavour to this. Oh, mm. There's definitely some roasted malts in there. Bit of toffee. Lots of fruitcake, lots of dark fruits. And you're getting that roasted malt is the lingering flavour at the back end. The roasted malts. Slight bit of bitterness at the back, but nothing too major. Um, it's, it's quite a nice beer, this. Um, it wasn't cheap, but not, not many things are in garden centres. Um, I think I paid about £3 for a bottle of this stuff. Um, I just thought it looked interesting. A lot of the beers they sell in garden centres tend not to um, say too much. They tend to have like a a bit of a... A picture on them. A lot of the other beers they had just had like pictures of Father Christmas on them, and they called them like Santa's beer and stuff like that. You know, take take stuff like that too seriously. Uh, the way I see it, if you if you're not even going to put the beer's name on it, then what's the point? Um, but yeah, they picked this one up, and it's quite good. It's quite complex. It's very um, excuse me, very fruity, very malty. And it has a nice boozy. Sort of, I, I would describe it as port, as the nice kind of sweet booziness at the back end to it. But it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. I could probably, I could see myself drinking a few of them on Christmas Day, to be honest with you. Perhaps after your uh, your Christmas dinner's gone down, you've got a bit of room in your stomach for a couple of beers. A couple of these wouldn't be too bad at all. Um, so yeah. So, Cheddleton Christmas Ale, dark ale, if, uh, let's say, it's got the crystal malts in it, so if you like your hobgoblin and things like that, you might uh, you might quite enjoy this. Very fruity, very malty, lots of roasted malt going on with this, but it's not bad at all. Um, for a local garden centre fair, that's not bad. Um, I'm going to give this uh, Cheddleton Christmas Ale, um, I think I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Because it's not too bad. So 7 out of 10 for Children's and Christmas Ale. Um, give the video a big thumbs up. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you're drinking. And uh, I'll be back with uh, another one very soon. Take care guys.